All right, we want to bring in now Laura Resplandi. She is Assistant Professor of Geosciences at Princeton University. She is also the lead author of this new study. Professor, it's good to have you on the show. Your study is based, and I think this is key here, on a new method of measuring ocean temperature. What, what is so different here? Yeah, thank you for having me. So yes, um, ocean warming has been measured for a few decades now using ocean temperature, direct measurement of temperature in the ocean. And there were some discrepancies. So the idea with that study was, can we find another method uh, to estimate that independently and have kind of a check on the numbers that we get? So, so we have a more accurate, if you will, way of measuring what's happening with the temperature in the oceans. And what do we do with that information? I mean, can we talk about immediate consequences? So it's not that it's more accurate. It's, what is important in science is to have different estimates of the same thing. And so we have two methods now that really converge towards one um, number, and that number is larger than what we think it was before. So the, the implications, well, if the ocean has warmed more than we thought, that means the Earth has warmed more than we thought. And the implication of that is that the Earth is more sensitive to um, the anthropogenic emissions and the anthropogenic impacts. I mean, and you know, this, you know, your study and the findings that you're publishing, I mean, it sounds like another alarm needs to be sound, um, sounded, and it sounds like that things are actually worse than we expected. Is that how you would describe the situation? So we've, we've known that the ocean has warmed a lot. We know that the ocean um, takes up more than 90% of the global warming, uh, the atmosphere just accounting for about 1%. Uh, the question was really how much exactly? And you're right, it's, more, it's warming more than we thought. And that, that has implication on how uh, the way forward, how we wanna move forward if we wanna stay, um, if we wanna keep our temperature below 1.5 or 2 degrees, for example. And Professor, before we run out of time, let me just ask you, do you think um, the findings of your study, do, should they impact the Paris Climate Agreement? Does that need to be changed at all? So what it does, uh, compared to the Paris Agreement or the 1.5 degree report that just came out from the IPCC, is that it doesn't take those scenarios uh, from possible to impossible, but what it does is that it makes it harder to get there. So basically what our study is showing is because the ocean has stored more, is more heat, or is warmer than we thought, it's going to be harder to keep the temperature below 1.5 or 2 degrees. Okay. Assistant Professor of Geosciences at Princeton University, Laura Resplandi, joining us tonight. Professor, thank you very much. We appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you very much.